What's going on, guys? Welcome back. I'm in the car. I'm driving, obviously. I'm on my way to a meeting right now with my team, and uh, we're going to discuss a few things about our business. And I'm super excited. You know, sometimes people say, oh, meetings, boring paperwork, and this and that and the other. But for, for me, like right now, I mean, all of this stuff that we're doing and all this stuff we're talking about and plans and ideas, this shit, I mean, it's pretty fun. It's pretty exciting for me. So, yeah, so it's my day off. Beautiful day here in Marina Valley. Could be more excited, more happy to be alive right now. So in that post, I can make one, or in the message, I can just put, it doesn't have to just be one word, it can be a paragraph, it yeah. can be a shout out, or a reminder, it can be yeah. anything. And if we're on uh, general, and you're directing a specific question to somebody, there's nobody in it right now, but let's say your username is Case, I just put add. See, for me, it's an uh, ad. So, the reason you do this is when you're directing like, a specific question or a comment to somebody, they'll send them a notification. Oh, so, if, like, if you just type things in the general chat, when they go into the app, it'll, it'll, this text will appear like white, like if there's messages in there, but it won't send you a notification because it might not be that important. Nobody will like, link to it. And if you want everybody to know, you just put at channel. So you notify everyone on this channel. So when you hit that channel and you type in stuff, everyone on this channel gets a notification that you said something. Okay. I was just about to ask you about that too. They have notifications. Yeah. So you can enable notifications to where even if someone just says something, they'll get a notification. But I don't do that because I'll just check it. If it's not that important, then obviously you're not going to add it. Yeah. Okay, cool. So that's Abraham, the guy on the right side of your screen. He's our web developer. He's only 20 years old and he's already started two companies of his own. He's really freaking smart. And the gentleman sitting right in front of him, that's my buddy Case. Besides myself, he's the second half or part of the marketing team. So each and every day we come together, it's like we're always being exposed to something new or just a better way to run our business and it's pretty fun and exciting stuff. So I'm back here at the house and one of the things that I wanted to talk about is consistency. And I could speak on that a little bit because I know what it's like to do something over a long duration of time, let's say four, maybe five, or maybe even six years. And it's just little by little by little by little get better and better and better. One of the things that I used to do when I was younger in high school was play in the drum line. And, you know, it was something that I did from grades 9 through 12, and then even a year, year and a half after high school. So it was like, boom, in the very beginning, it was like, it was like playing out like I suck shit. All right, I suck shit, and I started out playing the bass drum. And so I had to work my way up, right? Bass drum to the snare or to the quads. Um, and so that's exactly what I did. I was very determined and even previously before I started in with the drumline in high school I was already in like jazz ensembles and concert ensembles in middle school but even in those lower grade levels I was super competitive and always driven to just get better. <clears throat> so I know what it's like to start out with you know something that you desire to do 
something that you're passionate about. I understand, you know, the time that it takes to practice and practice and practice and practice. And it really takes hours and hours and hours and weeks and days and months of beating on your craft. And, you know, I reflect back to when I very, you know, started this vlog and I just remember, you know, me doing stupid stuff on the camera or just how it would talk or my tempo. And, you know, I look back at, you know, where I started in a very short time and where I am now. And I already see a little bit of progress. And so with this business that, that I'm starting, you know, I can really understand and relate to, you know, the things that I've done in the past and just how long it took me to, to you know, go from you suck shit to, wow, this guy's like one of the best guys we have on the drum line. So I understand that. And it just gives me so much, like, it, it gives me so much of a, of a oozing type feeling inside just to know that, hey man, just stick with it. And sooner or later, you know, the business will take off and little by little, it'll start to grow. Just continue to work on your craft. Like these are just the things that I'm, I'm thinking in my mind right now. These are the things, hey, just be patient, right? Just be really patient and things are just gonna be fine. So if there's anybody out there, or if there's any of you who are doing something right now, my advice to you would just to be extremely patient and take your time with it. Don't force anything, don't rush into things. Uh, really sit and ponder sometimes. If you want to be good, you got to put in the work. You got to put in the work and you got to put in the time. Okay, there's no way around that. So, I hope this information was useful for you guys. I hope you guys found something of value here and I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you haven't subscribed, do me the huge favor and go ahead and do that for me, please. Subscribe and I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.